So how do we know if our ladder is safe for us? How do we set a ladder up? How do we carry a ladder? How do we um, make sure we don't fall off the ladder? How do we make sure we use a ladder properly? How, how, what's the best ladder to use? I'm gonna answer a lot of these questions in this video. First part of it is, is I'm, I'm gonna go, go over inspection in a ladder, make sure we're not on an unsafe ladder. Make sure that that ladder is not deemed unsafe. The next thing is, is I'll show you how to carry a ladder and how to be able to carry it properly, not hurt your back, not being a twist, not being a bind, how to carry it properly. Then the last thing I'll do is, is I'll show you how to set the ladder up and how to um, work off the ladder safely and properly. So I'm Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com. I'm here to help you grow your business, be successful, and to change your life. So this video is going to be for either if you're pressure washing or during Christmas lights or during ladders, period. So the first thing we want to do is, is we want to look down the ladder and make sure it hasn't fallen and bent. And if you look at this ladder, it dogs like a dog leg really bad. Um, so this ladder is actually deemed unsafe to use. Now I'm going to use it today because I'm not getting... I'm not going to extend it, and the roof that I can show you on is not extended up. So this ladder is deemed unsafe to work with. You can see right here, it kind of dog legs this way, it's bent here, and that makes this ladder unsafe. The other thing will make this ladder unsafe is if the feet down here get bent or broke or something like that because we're not paying attention, we drop it, they get bent, they break. This that would make another thing that would deem it unsafe. If we see anything, any cracks around here, deems this thing unsafe. Another thing is, this is a 28 foot ladder. This is only a 250 pound capacity. So don't be on this ladder if you weigh more than 250 pounds. It's deemed unsafe at that point for you. So we wanna make sure that our lanyard right here is in good condition and working condition. We wanna make sure our dogs right here that catch the ladder, make sure they're in good working condition and they're working properly. So that is kind of how we can inspect the ladder, how to make sure it works right, how to make sure that it is a functioning ladder and it's safe for you to get up on. So there's a couple ways we can carry a ladder. Obviously, a lot of people carry it like this and you're going to pick up with your legs. The problem with this way is, is you're kind of throwing your body to a kilter. This does work. It's okay. But like I say, you're carrying it a bunch. It will hurt your um, back and that kind of stuff. The next way we can carry it is, is get it up here and do it as a suitcase. This is a little bit better. At least I'm, I'm tilted a little bit, but I'm not as tilted as far. And basically, you're going to put this right here, and you're going to carry it just like so. I can walk with it, I can point it where I want it to be at, and I can make it work well. That is two ways to carry it. The way I like to carry it is, is come down here to the one end, pick it up, slide it up here on your shoulder, slide, 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 and then you can kind of give it a kick here a little bit. And you can see right here, I have no um, it's all on my shoulder, my body's straight, and I have no weight up here. This is, all the weight is sitting straight on my shoulder. When I walk up to the house and I'm carrying it on my shoulder, I can set it down and I can walk it straight up here. And now my ladder is set and ready to go. When we are ready to set this ladder up, we want to do a couple things. We want to make sure the ground is nice and solid and hard. And we also want to make sure the ground isn't tilted one way or the other. And that'll make that ladder go one way or the other. One thing that will keep this ladder from going one way or the other is a ladder, ladder stabilizer. This can go on the ladder stabilizers. There's some large bolts. The feet fell off, so I've put gloves on there, different things, to make sure we're not tearing up. And what that does, that will sit on the roof, and that will also help keep it from falling. There's also some things you can buy that you put on the bottom of the feet and it allows you to put the one leg down or up so that way it will do that. 
Um, don't try not to put it on rocks, sticks, stuff like that to level you out. Have I done it? Maybe. That's why I know how what to use, not to use. Um, but what you can do is, is if it's leaning one way or the other, maybe, and you're probably not going to want to do this in a nice neighborhood, but if you could dig out a little bit on the one side to make it go, or use that stabilizer, or find another place for a better ladder placement. So we want good solid ground. We want flat ground. We also want to make sure before we start putting this ladder up that when we, we look up, make sure we're not by power lines. Um, this is a big lightning rod. If you hit a power line, it's a pretty good chance it's going to kill you. Um, so we want to make sure that we are not putting it up there. We want to be so far away from the house. So a proper ladder angle is 70 degrees, and I'll show you how to get that. So we're going to kind of guess it at first. So again, that is, um, we're going to make sure we're going to look up and make sure. Here's some ways we can get a ladder up. Now, I really should have another person here to help do this, but if, it's really best to have two people with a ladder at all times. And one person's going to hit, sit down here and flip the ladder so it don't go that way, and the other person can come up this way sit here and you're going to walk it up this way and you're going to walk it one right up the other right after the next one just walk it up you can also do it on a beam raise we're going to walk up that beam raise and do it that way so once we get the ladder set up we got it's actually backwards right now, and I'm going to show you why it's backwards. If we have to raise the fly, what we can do is, is we can take this off right here, and I can kind of foot it right here. And what I can do is, is I can pull this ladder straight up, and this ladder is not going to go nowhere. Now, when I'm doing this, I need to be right here next to the ladder. Don't be out here because it's going to pull it. Don't be over here because it's going to pull it that way. We want to be right here. And I'll show you another way to do it if you're big enough to do it. If you're not, sometimes you're not big enough to do it, you can do it this way. Hand over hand and pull up. I can take your spider all the way to the top. Now I'm going to bring it back down too. And we're going to let it lock on its dogs. Make sure both dogs are locked. But again, you can hand over hand, pick up, and then let it down. As long as I'm right here like so, if something goes to happen, if it's really long, I can just lay into it, and it's going to push it right up against the house. Um, but right here, I'm, I'm really good. Now, if we're on a 40-foot, 35-foot ladder, then we probably, you definitely need two people. One person can't do a 40-foot ladder unless you're just a beast. The other thing you can do is, is what I like to do, too, is, is if I do, so basically, once we get it to the, the desired spot, wherever we're going to be at. We want to be three rungs above the roof. If we're getting on the roof, we just spin this ladder, spin the ladder, make sure it's flat, and we go right up against the, the house. Now, again, it's best if we have a ladder standoff, so that way we don't dent the gutter. So the next thing comes to is, what is the correct angle? So if, I don't know, this here is pretty steep. And this is, so we want it to be 70 degrees. So the way we do this is, is you come right here, stand on the first rung, put your arms out, and you want that ladder rung to be in your hand. So you're standing straight up, and this is actually a good angle right here. If that ladder rung is here, it's too steep. If that ladder rung is here, it's too, um, too slopey. And what happens when we get, it's too, um, not slopey, that ain't the, probably the correct word. It's too much at an angle, because what happened is, that's when we will really crush the gutters. If we stay in that, in that zone, we won't crush the gutters. Um, we, I've been doing this for nine, ten years now, doing pressure washing, using ladders, and I've only crushed one, and that was because I did something stupid. Um, so I tried, to, I tried to do something stupid, and it crushed the gutter. So... You know, make sure you don't do something stupid. And like I said, I haven't had no issues with it at all. It is always good to tie this rope back off here. You can just kind of do this right here, just so that way that rope is not just hanging there, dangling there.
when we are climbing a ladder, we always want to make sure we have three points of contact. Two, two feet, two hands, or one hand. So you can do it two ways. You can keep, you can kind of raise up here and then keeping your balance and doing it. Or you, you can actually pull on the back side. This way I always have three points of contact all the way up this house and I'm not losing my contact. Like I say, if you have a standoff, it will keep that gutter from moving. I can work here and put Christmas lights all the way to here and I can do it all the way to there. Um, always be safe on a ladder. And if you don't feel comfortable up here, then don't do it. Um, you can put your leg in here and kind of put it and lock it a little bit. If you're a little guy, you can actually put your leg in here and back underneath and you can do a leg lock and sit on it. I'm a big guy on these little ladders and I can't do it. Um, but again, we want to make sure we stay safe on a ladder. We stay away from power lines, everything like that. We don't want to get close to power lines because that will kill you. Again, keeping three points of contact coming down and that. To take this ladder down, to take this ladder down, we're going to untie our line here. We're going to hold on to it. And you can do one of two things. Pull it back to you, kind of man it here. And this is another way that we can raise and lower it. You can pull it up, hand it over hand, and we're going to let it down. Lock the dogs. Going to tie my rope here so it don't get just hanging there burnt. And then what we can do is we can carry it like I talked to you before. We can put it right here on our shoulders, slide it a little bit, kick it up, and now we can carry it back to the truck, our vehicle, and we can put the ladder away and be safe. So with all that being said, I know I said a lot about our ladder angle. We need it to be at 70 degree angle. We wanted to make sure we check the ground, make sure it is, um, make sure it's good solid ground, not um, on its side. We're at 70 degree angle. We keep ourselves safe. We keep, we teach this. We keep, keep our employees safe, and no, and hopefully nobody will fall off the ladder. Again, if it feels sketchy, looks sketchy, don't do it. It probably is sketchy. Don't do it. Um, if you would like to learn more about Christmas lights and pressure washing. Go check out PressureWashHelp.com and check out my uh, everything I have on there. Um, if you would like to learn more about um, Google AdWords and how to get business, go check out my Google AdWords stuff right here.